Today's video will demonstrate how to split a zooplankton sample using the Folsom plankton splitter. Processing plankton samples can be laborious and time-consuming work, requiring a microscope and careful examination of the contents of a sample. Plankton samples often contain large numbers of organisms. Even new, semi-automated systems such as the zoo scan require the sample to be subdivided into smaller, more manageable fractions. There are several different types of splitters in common use today. Two of the most common are the Folsom plankton splitter and the Motoda box splitter. In addition, the stimple pipette may also be used to subsample zooplankton. If we know the fraction that has been subsampled, then the abundance of organisms in the total sample can be estimated without the need to count the entire sample. Obviously, this can introduce some errors. However, when done carefully, you should be able to obtain aliquots that contain similar proportions of each of the groups of organisms present in your sample. Before you start, your splitter should be leveled. Adjust the legs so that the sight bubble indicates the splitter is level. If your sample is preserved in formalin or ethanol, you may wish to decant the preservative and replace it with water. This should be done within a fume hood to avoid exposure to toxic fumes. Introduce your sample into the mixing area of the splitter. A rinse bottle may be used to mix the sample. Rotate the sample chamber so the contents flow into the two halves of the chamber. It may be necessary to use a rinse bottle to ensure that all organisms enter the two halves of the chamber. To can the sample fractions into the collection trays, use a spray bottle to remove all organisms. At this point, you have split your sample into two approximately equal aliquots. If your original sample was quite large, you may need to further subdivide it. In this case, randomly select one of the aliquots for further splitting. A coin toss can be used to select either the left or right aliquot. The splitting process is then repeated until a sufficiently dilute sample has been obtained. Just how dilute your sample needs to be depends on the type of analysis. As a rule of thumb, your split should contain about 1,000 to 1,200 total animals. 